All right. It's Eric from EHS Racing. You're at another episode of ATV Talk. First one, inauguration. I don't really have a clue how this video is going to go. I don't really even know what I want to say. I made a cheat sheet, but it's basically we got to talk about ECU tuning. Okay, I think there's been a lot of confusion of what ECU tuning is, its gains, why you need it, why you don't, the difference between an external tuner, expectations, and what you can get out of a tuner. Um, you know, I'm going to try to educate people, you know, nicely, you know, with saying that most people have no clue what they're talking about. So I'm trying to be nice and tell you that you really don't know what you're talking about for the majority. You know, the guys that know they don't know what they're talking about, they're okay. You know, like they're not, you're not supposed to know what you're talking about when it comes to, you know, fuel injection tuning. It's pretty tricky. But there's a bunch of guys, I don't know, several that, you know, really think they have an understanding of what it is and God, they don't have a clue. You know, that's, that's my battle. You know, a mechanic that thinks they're a mechanic, but they're not really that great of a mechanic. And then they're trying to be a tuner on top of that. So let me try to educate some people without being too much of a jerk because I do want to sell you stuff and how to tell people that they're not very smart and still sell you something is something I'm probably going to struggle with. But hopefully it comes out good, you know, and we're on the same page because education is good. And if y'all don't agree with me, that's good too. You know, like, you know, prove me wrong, you know, because I feel like I know what I'm doing. So the things I want to cover, I made a cheat sheet. Lies. Okay, some of these are partial lies. ECU is way better. ECU flash makes more horsepower. Power Commander versus Dobek style tuners, where everybody thinks Power Commander's better. A standalone versus a flash comparison. You know, closed loop versus open loop. You never need to tune a computer again if it's flashed. All flashes are the same. Double lie. Okay, dues I need to cover. Be nice, not a total dick. Testing results. Why you need a tuner. What a flash actually does. Okay, that's a lot of dang stuff to unfold. So me, I'm just going to wing it. This is my first video, and we're going to see how it goes. I may just be bold enough to throw it up on the internet. But anyways, where is an ECU? On a Grizzly. An ECU is up here in the front compartment. Okay, right next to the battery. And if this was a power steering model right next to that okay this is an ECU what does it do it does several things but the main thing that it does that y'all should be concerned about it controls when your fuel injector fires or opens and when your coil fires okay now there's some other stuff going on in there it tells your fans when to turn on it knows when it's in neutral and reverse and you know, it tells when it starts up, you know, but most of the wiring stuff is in relays and other things that are external to the ECU. Its main function is to control ignition and spark, you know, especially on this model. You know, like when you talk about ECU tuning a car, it is not the same thing as ECU tuning a Grizzly. Okay, this is basic, stupid fuel injection, which is honestly the best fuel injection ever designed. Okay, when you start messing up stuff with all the computers and the smart stuff you know that it like it's hard like there's so much going on that it's hard to do stuff and then you get all the rules and regulations that you got to follow which we're overriding but having a fuel injection system that you can do exactly what you want and it's simple like that's awesome you know it's like a smart carburetor that you don't actually have to do any physical stuff with you can just tell it what to do you know carburetors are great when they work right you know, why would you want to mess up with one of them if you got an electronic carburetor that's simple? You know, like that is its purpose. So with that said, you know, controlling fuel and spark 
is the ultimate goal of a motor to make it do what you want. Okay, what are we doing inside this ECU flash? Okay, when I'm in there, I don't have rules I gotta follow. I make it run how it's supposed to run. You know, basically, we're telling the fuel injector when to open and the spark plug when to spark. You know, that is as simple as it gets. You know, there is more to it than that, but that essentially is what we're doing. We're just telling it when to fire. Okay, whether you do it with an ECU or one of these or a power commander, tuned is tuned. Okay, like that's as simple as it gets. Like you do not need all this technology to tune something. Okay, can I do it better? With the more tech, yeah, yeah, I can do it better. Does it have a better end result? Yes, for sure. But, like, what I did with these, this simple little gizmo for 240 bucks, you have complete control over a fuel map that I built specific for this four wheeler. Like, that is awesome. You know, it's cheap, you can adjust it, you can do quite a bit with it. You know, I understand nobody ever does. They like, I want to take it out of the box. I want to plug it in. I want it to run on unicorn titties and everything else. Like it just needs to be so simple, but that's not how the world works. Like sometimes you got to adjust stuff and have an adjustment is definitely a benefit. What we're doing in the ECUs and why you probably want it is because there's not limitations. Okay. Like I didn't have to worry about Bobby, that's 28, that drinks all the time and has to freaking worry about flipping over his four-wheeler because it's so powerful. You're like, I made it run how it should have ran. So Bobby can now flip his four-wheeler over backwards when he's got a beer. You know, like the shit's going to work a lot better. I'm not going to get sued because this is user race stuff. Okay? Anything I say in here cannot be construed as I have any sanity. Okay? So don't sue me if this comes back in court in two months or 20 years <clears throat> so anyways i don't have limitations like you get in there and you do exactly what you need to do it's simple okay it's not really simple but it's simple it's i'm telling the fuel injector when to spark the fuel injector when to turn on the ignition coil when to spark <clears throat> there's things in there like fans that we're going to activate where you have cold start tables which are essentially like an electronic choke that we're changing uh there's things like phasing when the injector opens versus camshaft position or crank position i mean there's a lot of stuff going on so i'm, I'm dumbing it down and just making it simple because that's really what's going on we're telling it when to operate okay that's its function so if you have this thing working and it is way more precise there is a benefit but don't like this worked pretty dang good you know for a horsepower to comparison if you did all our parts our bolt-on stuff on this tuner okay like a kodiak grizzly is going to make 39 40 horsepower if you do the same thing with this setup flashed it's going to make one more horsepower you know why because i can control when the spark plug sparks the other one i can't Okay, the timing map will net you approximately one horsepower. That's what you're going to gain from timing. Anybody that tells you any differently is lying. I promise you. You cannot pick up more than one to maybe one and a half on the high side of horsepower by messing with ignition timing on 93 fuel 87. You know, you start going to exotic fuels like MR12, alcohol. I'm not saying you can't pick up more horsepower with ignition timing, but that is a whole different bag of apples that we're going to talk about. So ignition timing, the main thing we're doing in here, honestly, is not even at wide open throttle passes. Like Yamaha pushes way too much timing down low. It makes it a dog. So we're actually retarding the ignition timing and making it so it runs substantially better down low. This is where the gains you're gonna see. And a lot of that is due to timing. It's a lot of the way we did the fuel throttle position tables and the map tables to just work way different than what Yamaha designed okay so I mean that that is as simple as it gets like we're controlling fuel we're controlling spark we're not doing black magic we're not doing voodoo 
you know you're hacking into an ECU and you're changing some stuff you know it's pretty you know it's pretty cut and dry it's pretty simple <clears throat> all right list is it way better yeah yeah I mean it's way better is it way better for peak horsepower no it's, it's not that much better for peak horsepower numbers if you do a race with a buddy that has our old setup and then a buddy that has an ECU flash with the same setup are you gonna win the flash is probably gonna win is it gonna win by a whole bunch no like it's pretty close why would you buy it then Meh. you know it's gonna do wheelies a whole lot more you know simple terms like the throttle response the hit um, it it is a lot better there like I I can do way more so yes it is better but is it totally better no like that gets way blown up way more it's not you know ECU tuning let's say you got your Ford you know six seven power stroke you got a turbo on that joker like this doesn't have a turbo okay it you can't build more boost all we're doing is controlling when the spark plug sparks and the injector opens that's that's all that's going on you know a little more than that but you can't add 100 horsepower from a tune it's just physically impossible okay does the ecu flash make more horsepower a little you know i explained that i think you know i put power commander versus dobeck on here um you know that's the same thing like same same speech like just because you have more ability doesn't make it better for me yeah i know what i'm doing though do you know what you're doing probably not you probably read something on the internet someplace and you thought about doing it but you've never done it before okay that this is a battle that i have constantly had i have a power commander i can make more power because somebody on the internet told me it was better okay why why is it better because somebody told me so we'll make it look better well it's, what what what's different about it you have a map you know if i build a map for a power commander on my dyno with my 20 years of experience and my hundred and fifty thousand dollars I've invested in fuel injection crap you know yeah it's gonna be better but you know I'm pretty good at this stuff are you gonna do it in your backyard no can I do it in my backyard no like it's not even possible for me to do it in my backyard so what makes a power commander better me or somebody else like me I'm not the only dude in America or the country or any world that can do this stuff but you're gonna need somebody like me to make it better okay like a map tuned is tuned tuned on a power commander it's tuned tuned down this is tuned tuned down that it's tuned tuned is tuned you know don't overcomplicate stuff you got something that works easy just because it does more stuff don't mean you're gonna make it work better like it's simple okay a standalone versus a flash okay this this you could talk about a long time I'm gonna dumb it down a little bit a standalone is really cool okay the ECU flash is not a standalone you don't get a magic password to get a flash like there's not not something you get to log in and do everything that the manufacturer did you're hacking into this stuff like it's tricky there's not everything you can do you know if I had a standalone I can add tables I could add custom tables logic I could wire in 5 volt sensors I could wire in new sensors I could make it turn on by Bluetooth and whistle and sing a song you know like you can do whatever you want to do it's limitless ECU flash is not that ECU flash is you're hacking into something and you're changing some fuel tables now granted there's a lot going on with the fuel tables and you're changing the ignition tables and you're doing a few more things it's you're hacking Okay? you don't have control of everything so don't think you can do everything all right closed loop versus open loop important I bet you most people don't even have a clue of what this actually means okay so let's explain it to you closed loop fuel injection there is a closed circuit if you know what electrical is it's complete open there's a short circuit there's something missing okay that's the open part of it <coughs> I'm getting out of breath talking so much <gasps> okay open loop is without a fuel inject or a O2 sensor okay it's pretty much that simple it can be other stuff but closed loop is with a O2 sensor 
Okay, you need a feedback signal. So that's essentially how the motor knows how it's running. And it tries to auto correct itself with tables built into it to correct, to maintain an air to fuel ratio. Okay, this is all in Lambda. Uh, so essentially just we'll go to air to fuel ratio. If you target an RPM and a throttle position and you have duty cycle, you know, with all the variables that go in there, and it's spitting it out and you said it's supposed to run at 12.7 but it's actually running at 13.2 you then have an offset table to bring it back to that it's like how cars work okay there's feedback signals so you can do stuff that changes for different scenarios you know like say i'm tuning here at sea level i send this out to somebody at 6,000 feet it understands it sees that there's a something going on so it tries to correct this does not have that okay this does not have an O2 sensor. This is open loop. <clears throat> I like open loop, okay? Like, again, overcomplicating things with simple four wheelers makes simple problems big problems. So don't overcomplicate good stuff. Excuse me. This does not have a feedback signal. So you cannot. You can only do so much, okay? This is why I push having an external tuner, okay? Because there's going to be different scenarios. Say this fuel pump runs at 43 PSI, okay? It should be 42 PSI. One PSI of fuel at wide open is going to make a pretty good difference, okay? Say the map sensor works differently than the other map sensor that come off the assembly line, okay? they're going to have a different variable. It's going to run differently on how much fuel is going to the injector. Okay, this stuff does not transverse. I mean, it does pretty good. Like, you know, off the assembly line, they do a really good job. Like, things are pretty much similar, but there's always differences. Okay, there's differences in different climates. You cannot build something that works for every scenario, every time, optimally, 100%. Like, you just, you just can't. Like, it, you know, like I tell people in my shop, I don't care if Jesus built it, it's still going to break. Like, there's certain things that are just not going to happen. <clears throat> so, with that said, that's why having an external tuner is so good. Like, could, because you need fine-tuning adjustment ability to fine-tune it for your scenario. And I understand people, they just... I want it out of the box. I want to plug it in. I want it to work. I got you. Like, we got that covered. But if you took the time, like, like five minutes, five minutes of time to play with it and hit a couple buttons, like, it's going to run better. But nobody wants to do it. Like, I promise you, like, I, I fight this on the phone. I touch my controller. My four-wheeler is going to turn into an infernal ball of flames. It's going to blow up. It's just just bad stuff's gonna happen it's not like you can hold this son of a gun at wide open throttle move the buttons everywhere i have not given you the ability to turn your four-wheeler into a ball of inferno like it's just not gonna happen like just just move the buttons a little bit it's super simple it works super good and you're gonna have a better result <laughs> okay you never need to tune again it flashed yeah so if you pick one of my scenarios that i built an exact tune for it's gonna work really good i promise like it's gonna show up it's gonna work awesome but say you decide to buy an exhaust okay will that map work for the exhaust probably it'll work pretty good is it gonna work as good as it should probably not because i didn't build that map for that what happens then well you send it back into me and then i charge you another 200 bucks i make all sorts of money i love it it sounds great like that is a perfect business model i just keep making money but like if it was me i would want an external tuner i can hit a couple buttons okay so this is why having a tuner and a flash combo is really the way to go like, you're going to save yourself. You're going to be able to adjust it for your scenario. If you want to change something, you then just hit a button. Like, I got it all laid out. Like, it's super easy. You just keep changing it. The base map, once that's in, you're going to get pretty much all the gains that you're going to get. Like, there's some scenarios, like, with the cam and some other stuff, that, that's going to change it a little bit. But that's 
the three percent you know that is three percent of y'all it's not very many <clears throat> all right are all flashes the same no lie all right i gotta be careful here because i'm trying to be respectful but if you think anybody else did the work that i did or even close to it like just 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 no okay like i bought this thing just for this i spent a hundred hours of my life just on this like i i done a lot a lot a lot a lot i promise you if somebody else has done the work i did i will shake their hand but i'm pretty sure nobody did the work they needed to do <clears throat> um be nice not a dick yeah testing results clutch exhaust here okay Airbox, airbox lid affect the tune almost none. Okay, like once the bass tune was developed, you can swap between a stock lid, probably snorkels. I have to test that still. Airbox lid, it really didn't change anything with the fuel, which was cool. So I have one map that does those things. Clutching, clutching changes the fuel a lot, like a lot, a lot. Clutching is the most I don't say dramatic, but like the most large change that you're going to see. Okay, if I went from 18 gram weights to 28, it changed the fuel mapping parameters more than if I went from stock exhaust to a dual or stock exhaust to a single. Way bigger changes. So this is why there is limitless clutch things. Okay, there's like four or five clutch guys, four or five clutch guy scenarios for each of their scenario. Like there's a lot of scenarios. I cannot test every one of them. I mean, I got a hundred hours in what I tested. Like, that's a lot. Y'all are gonna have to do a little bit of stuff. I'm gonna get you really close, but you know, a lot of clutching. Okay, does it? I I kind of the primary weights are the big change versus the spring, but the load, the load that it overall puts on the motor is is there. That's one plus external tuner. You know, the map that I'm gonna give you will make it a little leaner bring some fuel in with a tuner you do some butt passes 15 minutes you're tuned like it's simple 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 all right why do i need a tune and an ecu flash i think i've been talking about that for like 20 minutes it seems like i have been all right what does a flash do yeah i feel like i covered that that one was pretty good what else why I waited so long to jump into this market. This is a big one. Like, Just from an industry insider that I have watched, ECU Flash has been around for a while. You know, it's not new, okay? It is new for this particular model, you know, just because there's a few people that brought it. But the K&M market, the Polaris market, ECU Flashes, there's a few people that know what they're doing and they're doing pretty good stuff. And then there's like 80% of the tuner market that just copies what everybody else does okay there is nothing like what i did is going to get copied i am positive of it my hundred hours of work somebody else is going to get it for free because they're going to buy one of my ecus and they're going to suck it out of there and they're going to get it you cannot copyright protect this stuff okay you cannot save it there's no password there's no protection like it's just going to happen i understand that i know going into it like it's going to happen and that was one of my big beefs as a business wise like why would i go into this market and do all this work when i know and i'm not pointing any fingers at anybody and saying anybody's doing it but people are doing it who the people are doing it i don't know i don't even know if anybody's gonna do it on the grizzly right now i just from what i've watched in this industry there's not me i'm not the only one i promise you. i'm not the only one there's other people that know what the hell's going on but there's a lot of people that don't really have a good idea what's going on and they're selling these maps and they're getting the data from somebody else okay and then they're whatever they change a number and they're like yeah i did it Woo! i'm a tuner i'm a tuner you know they don't even know what duty cycle means or any of them other things like they've never built a standalone they've never done any of this stuff they definitely don't do a hundred hours of research you know crappy um what else i don't know I'm gonna watch this. I may be bold enough to post it. How do I talk? 25 minutes. You know, first cut. 
raw. I hope I didn't offend anybody. I probably did. I'm kind of at the stage. Oh, you know what else? I got, I was going to come out like this first thing. I'm going to make a 40 horsepower flash, a 50 horsepower flash, and a 60. And if I sold it like that and told people, y'all would believe me, I promise you. Okay, like, the amount of stuff that goes around the internet, of what flashing can do, like, it just blows my mind. And then people believe it. And I'm like, I have to compete against this. Like, I'm trying to be an honest shop and give people honest data. And fuck, excuse my language, you know, somebody over here is like, man, throw this flash on. And I'm not saying even grizzly stuff. Like, just a, a flash and a tip. It's going to pick you up 18 horsepower. Like, what the heck? Who believes this stuff? And then you have to compete against this stuff. Like, be careful with your knowledge and your money. Like, give it to somebody that does some work. If it's not me, give it to somebody else that actually works for it. Not just puts up a cool sticker because they got extra horsepower. Like, support the people that drive innovation. Okay? Like, that actually do work. What else? I'll be back. I'm going to have tunes for all sorts of stuff. And it's going to be great.